Do you know what the easiest way to get more search traffic is? It's not by writing more content. It's actually by expanding internationally. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to double your search traffic through internationalization. I want you to take a look at this picture here. This is an analytic screenshot of neilpatel.com. You'll notice that I get a lot of traffic from the United States but the United States doesn't even make up 50% of my traffic. Why? Because I've expanded globally. There's a lot of popular regions on my website, such as India, Brazil, all the Spanish speaking markets. I've expanded globally. And you know what? I've done this because there's no competition overseas. So now I'm gonna teach you how to do the same. And this has been one of the biggest driving factors of my growth. The first thing you wanna do is translate your content. So whatever you do have, you wanna translate into the languages that you're going after. Keep in mind, the majority of the world doesn't just speak English. There's languages like Hindi, Mandarin, that are extremely popular. And there's a ton of money outside of just the United States. The world doesn't revolve around America. It's much bigger than just one country. So by translating your content to different languages, now, when people are Googling within their own language, they can then come to your website. You can use a plugin like Transposh. It's a WordPress plugin that helps translate your content. It's not that effective. A better way or a better strategy is to do it manually. So you can go to sites like Upwork.com and hire translators. They're not that expensive. You can translate a lot of the pages on your site for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and go from there. Now, after you translate your content, the second thing you wanna do is use href lang code. href lang code is from Google, right? Or at least Google uses it. I don't know who created it, but a lot of search engines use it. And what href lang does is it tells the search engines, hey, this page here is my English version, and this other page is my Portuguese version for Brazil. If you look at the source code for neilpatel.com, you'll notice that I have an href lang for German, Spanish, and Portuguese Brazil. By using hreflang, it tells Google, hey, for these search engines over here, let's say in Brazil, rank the Portuguese content instead of the English content. And you wanna do that because let's say in regions like Brazil, roughly 5% of the market speaks English. 95% speak Portuguese. All you have to do is give it time, do the hreflang setup, make sure you interlink, right? So your Portuguese pages should link to your other Portuguese pages. You don't want your Portuguese pages linking back to your English pages. By doing that, your rankings are gonna go up. And one simple thing to note is that when you use hreflang and you've translated your content, when someone's coming to your website, you wanna redirect them to the region that they're from. And you do this because of browser settings. So let's say they use Google Chrome. Well, Google Chrome tells your website that, hey, this person reads, let's say, in German, or they read in Portuguese, and you can automatically redirect them. You can hire a developer from Upwork.com to do this, and let them know that do not redirect search engine bots. The reason you don't want to redirect search engine bots is because a lot of servers are in regions that are English speaking, like the United States. So if Google's crawling your German version of your site from the United States, you don't want to redirect them. You want to let them read your English site and your German site, but you want to redirect the users. And when you tell a developer this, they'll know how to do this for you. 